Hi there, so you're at the stage where all the prep work is done. Now it's time to paint the wall. Let's go over the equipment you'll need. We've chosen Aquamotion from the British Paints range for this room. It's a beautiful light blue that provides a classic cooling effect and has great performance, keeping your walls looking freshly painted for longer. Before we get rolling on the main section of the wall, we need to cut in with a brush around the edges. Start by brushing a few centimetres out from the tape or corner, then slowly move the brush in so that the line of the paint follows the edging. Now for the roller. Push it into the tray, but not too deep. And make sure the paint is evenly applied. It should spin smoothly. Start from a top corner where you've cut in with a brush, covering an area of about two metres across. This is your first section. Without reloading more paint on the roller, go over it again to ensure even distribution. Then, starting at the top corner of the section, lightly roll straight down to the bottom. Remove and repeat, each time overlapping where you just rolled to avoid lines in the paint. This is called laying off. Now follow the same process in the next two meter wide section, continuing across the wall in sections until you finish your first coat. Once this is dry, it's time to do it all over again for the second coat. To complement Aquamotion with another colour, I've used Love Note from British Paints. There you go, nice and smooth. You could admire your handiwork and watch the paint dry if you want, but it's best to clean up first. Make sure you get that painter's tape off while the paint is still wet, just to ensure smooth edges. All done and it looks a treat. Thanks for watching this British Paints how-to series. I'm Shannon Voss, catch you next time.